Hello and welcome to the trending stories on your news superhighway n.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. Before we look at today's big stories, remember to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. And we begin with politics because the National Democratic Congress, NDC's presidential candidate for the 2020 elections, John Dramani Mahama, has described as harrowing Joy News' latest documentary on political party militia in the country. According to Mr. Mahama, the NPP government continues to paint the country black because of their involvement and support for vigilante activities. The former president in a tweet said the Akufuado administration is producing enough paint to paint the whole nation black. Mr. Mahama made this statement in reaction to a Joy News documentary which has revealed that there is an alleged militia group within the new patriotic party NPP, which appears to have the backing of government. The group whose name has been given as the I group is allegedly training at the Christian Bog Castle, also called the Osu Castle in Accra. Join News on Thursday, March 8, aired the documentary, which showed a former presidential bodyguard of the sitting president leading and training the supposed pro-government militia group at the Osu Castle. Meanwhile, government has condemned the documentary since its release. A four-page statement signed by the Information Minister Kojo Ponkuma described the work as putting together conjecture, malice, mischief, sensationalism, and unvalidated suspicions, which contain significant misrepresentation and misleading impressions. The statement said the castle is a facility operated by the Museums and Monuments Board, which is under the Tourism and Creative Arts Ministry. The statement further said the I Group is a company involved in helping unemployed young men and women find jobs. You can share your thoughts with us on this story in the comment section below. But in a separate development, Vice President Dr. Mahamud Baumia has cautioned Muslim youth to resist calls by politicians who want them as bodies for violent political purposes at the peril of their own lives. Speaking at the 51st anniversary celebration of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad by Sheikh Abdul Wadub in Kumasi on Sunday, the Vice President explained that Allah has blessed the Zongo youth with multiple positive attributes and talents such as strength and vocational skills. He further urged Zongo youth with vocational and technical skills as well as entrepreneurial ideas to take advantage of the Zongo Development Fund through the Ministry of Inner Cities and Zongo Development Fund for assistance to develop themselves and their enterprises. The commemoration of the birth of Prophet Muhammad in Abu Abu was the 51st of its kind and was attended by several high-profile Islamic clerics, including the national chief imam, Sheikh Osman Nuhu Sharubutu. And these have been the trending stories on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. For more of such regular updates, remember to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. I'll see you again with another package of the news.